here's a live query in action. This is going to be very interesting. We're going to select the order date and then the order date plus 60, which is going to give them 60 days to pay. You see, anytime you have a date and you add or subtract a number from that, it's a number of days. So as you can see here, they've got the order date plus 60, 60 days to pay. Then we say, hey, you owe this order total. Now, this is very interesting. Notice that we had an alias in the second column, order date plus 60 as double quote due date. There's a space in between due and date, so we have to have the double quotes in the alias. But one thing Teradata does that, for example, SQL Server would not allow is that you can reuse that alias and say, you know what? In the fourth column here, we say, listen, if you pay within 50 days, we'll give you a 2% discount. So it's due date, which was really order date plus 60. So it's due date minus 10 or order date plus 50. And then you can see we'll give them a 2% discount. If you add or subtract a number, it's a number of days. In Teradata, if you have two dates subtracted from each other, you will get a number of days between those two dates. Now, if you have a date and you add or subtract a number, you're going to get a new date. Now, let's take a look at this. We are going to find out how many days Tom's been alive since his birthday on January 10th, 2014. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to select 1140110. I can do that because that's the internal way Teradata stores it. I make sure I mention it's a date and then I subtract 590110 and make sure it's a date. And these are the number of days that I have been alive. I'm looking pretty good if I say so myself. Now, down below you can see, once again, we're going to run the same query, but it's a little clearer because I actually say select the date of 2014-0110. Make sure they know it's a date. And then, of course, 1959-0110, and I'm going to get the same answer. We just found out the number of days I've been alive since January 10th, 2014. Let's find the number of years I've been alive. Now, this is another formula. Most of you won't really use your dates quite like this, but you could see it out there. So I want you to understand just a little bit more about how the mathematics of dates work. And you're going to see this a lot if you're a DBA in the partitioning statements. Teradata's got some very clever ways to do partitioning using this type of formula. Stay with me here. Here we can see that I'm going to select 1140110, make sure they know it's a date, and I'm going to subtract 590110, the actual date of my birthday, and then I'm going to divide that by 365, and that is going to give me my 55, the number of years that I have been alive since January 10th, 2014. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.